now. Who is the man that could risk his neck for his brother man? I got I got to turn uh, Chris Arps loose because he's actually been in the studio since the top of the show and he's been chomping at the bit to get on the mic over there and I was holding him back so now he's got all this pent up frustration and he's ready to you going to yell at me or anything? Good afternoon. <laughs> How are How you, Chris? Are you? I'm fantastic. <laughs> Good to see you, my friend. Good seeing you too. Thank you. So, um, gee, where should we go first? Uh, let's start with taxes. Okay, listen to Gary Tushman. And I've probably got another name for him. I can't repeat on the air here. Um, talking to these Trump supporters who were waiting in line yesterday to get into one of Donald Trump's very well-attended rallies. Um, listen to the baited question that he asks them in his smug voice as he um, as he's traveling down this line of people. These are the most loyal of Donald Trump's supporters. Raise your hand if you don't pay any federal income tax. Don't pay any. Zero. This woman right here? So no, you don't pay federal income tax. Not anymore. And how many of you do pay federal income tax? All indications are an overwhelming majority of people in this line write checks to Uncle Sam. So what does it mean to them if Donald Trump doesn't? What does it mean to them if Donald Trump doesn't? Because he's just a cheater. That's That made me want to reach through the TV lens and smack Gary Tuchman. Because... It's it's a ridiculous class warfare argument that Donald Trump plays by the rules, and whether he makes two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year and figures out a way to not have any tax liability, or he makes close to a billion dollars in a year and figures out a way to not have any tax liability, who cares? If it was illegal, you can bet he would have been prosecuted. The the attorney general in the state of New York, Chris Arps, yes. uh, is a Republican hater. Yes, he is. Uh, spurred on by a Governor Cuomo up there who is equally a Republican hater. You can bet if they could have brought Donald Trump up on tax evasion charges prior to this whole election cycle, they would have done it. But they haven't done it because there's no evidence he did anything wrong. Right. And I think a lot of the detractors from this whole tax situation aren't making a case that it's illegal. Everyone knows that if you have enough money and you can hire the best tax attorneys, the backs, the best accountants, you can do what Donald Trump did. I think what a lot of people are upset about is uh, the duplicity of tweeting for the last couple of years about 47 percent aren't paying taxes and then tweeting during the campaign saying that hedge fund managers aren't paying personal income taxes and then this revelation comes out that you possibly didn't pay income taxes for 18 years i think that's the problem that so, a lot of people so, have um th- i don't want to get too deeply in the weeds and i'm not a cpa and i'm sure there are people who listen to this show who are so apparently at 125 today, we're actually going to get some CPAs on the air who can school me a little bit on this. But I'm interested to know what kind of a tax return that was that has been leaked on Donald Trump. Because if you own, if he's a big enough company, I can't imagine he's running all this through his own personal tax return. So if you run a C-Corp, um, you generally can't, you don't get flow through losses onto your personal tax liability. So everyone has jumped to the conclusion that this document shows that he didn't pay taxes for up to 18 years, depending on what his tax liability would have been in those subsequent years. However, we we don't know, the, the average person, and certainly Gary Tushman on uh, uh, CNN doesn't know what the speci- – he might have had multiple tax returns that were filed that year. There might have been one for his personal income. There might have been one for his that that inv- involved his capital gains earnings on investments. Release it. There could have been real estate stuff. We we release don't know. It. Just release so, it so, so we don't have so we and, don't have to and speculate. And I about agree it. with Dave Glover, who was on this radio station yesterday afternoon, and Dave said he should have, he should have come out with this four or five months ago. Uh, just dropped it on them, let them dig through it, find what they can. Uh, There's no evidence of any criminal wrongdoing. There's no allegation of any criminal wrongdoing. All it's going to show is that he's very rich, which we already knew. He should have gotten that out of the way a long time ago instead of waiting till now. I couldn't agree with you on that more. But the bottom line is the, the, the willingness of the media to jump to conclusions to insinuate, which is what they've done in every single story about this, that Donald Trump did something wrong 
is is malpractice. They shouldn't be allowed to get away with that. I don't. I you know, God forbid. I'm I'm uh, taking up for the media, but I don't think that's their argument. Their argument is like what I said earlier, and I think their their other argument, which is a wrong argument, is they're trying to say because he lost this billion dollars in the single year, supposedly that that shows he's a horrible businessman. Businessman. That's a terrible argument to me because you look what happened twenty years later and you see where he's at now. He rebuilt where he was from so i i think that's a wrong argument where they're trying to use that as look how bad of a businessman he is if he lost that billion dollars and then he never did recover then that's a good argument for you, them. you you there are there are payroll taxes that were paid by his companies there I and mean, he paid Personal income god taxes. knows how many taxes were paid by trump industries or whatever the name of his company is i want it, but that's fine your businesses and every and and your entities pay taxes what about you personally do what you take are any you deductions chris Arps? of course i don't have a problem i don't have a problem with with taking deductions and trying to pay as little money as possible zero zero if possible Zero after you writing off a billion dollars. I just have a problem with it. It's I'm, just, I it's just, have just a more zeros that. than we're used to. That's that's the only difference. I just have a problem with that because that nine hundred fifteen million dollar loss includes creditors and suppliers but, and but all those people that he left holding the bag. No, that, and then he can take is, and then he can take that money that and write that off of his taxes not, for the next eight years. That is not fair. Those are he losses. Didn't, he didn't declare bankruptcy. It means that he lost money that he couldn't recover to those businesses doesn't mean he didn't pay someone there's all kind of uh anecdotal evidence and people that have but come no, out of no 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 don't don't people. don't be a, a shill for the hillary clinton campaign <laughs> here there's God not forbid. a shred of evidence again that any of those losses came because he he ripped off anybody that there's just none of that i mean if if a business was shut down and they took a loss because of it and people lost their jobs, that's possible. Yeah. I, I don't know that. You don't know that. But the bottom line is here, if these were legitimate losses, and you can bet your rear end, yeah. your bottom dollar, that the IRS combs yeah. over every single one of his tax returns looking to find something yeah. wrong, that it would that they would have outed him on that. And that's I've, not what's happened. Here. I've seen reports that during these businesses it was an air it was an air it was a casino, it was an airline, and I've seen reports that Connected with all these businesses, he was paying himself consulting fees through these companies and all this. Why not? This, well, I, I don't think that's right when the company goes bankrupt and you, and you write those taxes off and those people don't have don't don't get their money. Their well, relief. change the bankruptcy laws. Moral relativism, sure. No, that's not moral relativism. I support a flat tax. I, I wish we all had to turn in a. A, a, a little yep. cue card at the end of the year, and yep. with 10% of your income on it, this is what you owe. And Donald Trump's 10% would be a hell of a lot more than mine, and we'd do away with all that stuff. I agree. And then he would have paid $5 billion in taxes. Would you be happy then? I would be happy. You'd and, be happier and, then. And, and, Why? And the thing is, is, is we know, we all know, if, if revelations came out that Hillary Clinton could have went 18 years without paying federal income taxes, all of us conservatives would be could have Could have. Could have, would have, should have. I mean, it, that doesn't mean Release anything. Release the tax reforms, and then we know, until he releases his tax forms, and I think it's fair and to speculate even, that he didn't pay taxes even, for eighteen personal even income if he, taxes for eighteen. Even years. Even if he released his taxes and he hadn't paid any personal income taxes for the last thirty years, and he didn't violate any laws, it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant, but to most people that work hard like me and you and pay their taxes, because it's if, an issue. Because if Donald Trump had paid $3 billion in taxes the last 20 years, there'd be a chicken in every pot and the streets would be paved with gold. No. It, it's just it, it, it's it, blown out of proportion, if, and we don't need to buy into it and, and per perpetuate that. As wealthy as Mitt Romney was, and he can pay 14% in the income taxes, and Donald Trump Capital can gains pay taxes. Pay something. You don't know that he didn't. Pay something. You don't he know that he didn't. He hasn't paid any income taxes. You don't know that he didn't. You don't know that he did. You don't know that he didn't. <laughs> All right. Christopher nah, nah, Clinton nah, nah, nah. and I'll be back here in just a couple of minutes. 314-969-9797. We are going to get to Dr. Robin Armstrong. We're going to talk more about the vice presidential debate and a little of his insight as a physician on Obamacare and where that mess is headed when we come back. Stick around. This is the Mark Cox Show. 
Air Comfort Service Heating and Cooling. Weather with Dave Murray. We are kind of in between weather systems today, and I think we'll see a little bit more in the way of sunshine. Let's call it partly sunny. 80 degrees for the high. That's well above average. Tonight, partly cloudy skies and mild. 65 Wednesday, partly sunny, breezy. Just a chance of a spot thunder shower late in the day on Wednesday. Wednesday's high, 83. Keep it in the wind in the 80s on Thursday. I'm Fox 2 meteorologist Dave Murray for FM News Talk 97.1.